Hey, I'm OEA President Scott Tomorrow. Time for my last update of the 2022-23 school year. Uh, hope that you are having a great start to your summer. Uh, there is still a lot going on and uh, we have a lot to celebrate. We have a lot to work on. I uh, just wanted to give you a couple of highlights. First off, uh, work on the state budget continues. We continue to push for uh, full implementation of the Fair School Funding Plan. We're expecting uh, in just a couple of days, the Ohio Senate to come out with its budget proposal. Uh, we're getting a lot of negative signals uh, in terms of really expanding vouchers beyond even what the governor and the house have proposed uh, and really scaling back on, on public school funding. This is a time where public education is on the line. We need to make sure that we're calling our senators uh, and all of our legislators to make sure that they prioritize public education uh, so that every student has access to a great public school. Uh, also with that, uh, we got a huge win in the House version of the budget with an increase on the state minimum teacher salary to $40,000. We know the majority of our locals across the state will directly benefit from that. This is why we exist as a union to make our members' lives better. Uh, and certainly something that everybody cares about is having fair compensation for our educators in the classroom. Uh, but we are hearing rumors that uh, the Senate may scale that back. We need to keep the pressure on to make sure that we are able to deliver for our members and really address uh, the recruitment and retention issues that we're seeing uh, and get that $40,000 minimum salary passed as the part of the final version of the state budget uh, that has to be completed between now and the end of June. Another big thing that's going on, as you probably heard about issue one, scheduled for the ballot on August 8th. Uh, it was a shameful uh, display of uh, a blatant power grab by the legislature uh, to try to claw back and shred our constitution uh, by increasing the threshold for passing uh, constitutional amendments to 60% from the current standard of 50% plus one. It violates the principle of one person, one vote. Uh, it undermines our democracy. And as educators and leaders in our communities, it's up to us to make sure that everybody understands what's at stake. Uh, we need to go to the mat to protect our democracy. Vote no on August 8th and do everything you can to help spread the word uh, in this low turnout election, and isn't it ironic that the legislature, having just ended August elections because so few people participated in them, chose to use a special August election to try to pull a fast one over on the voters. We're not going to let that happen. Um, finally, I just want to say I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of you at our OEA Summer Leadership Academy coming up later in June. Uh, it was great seeing so many of you at the OEA Representative Assembly uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was a great show of unity and support. A lot of important work done lifting up our education support professionals, uh, really standing up for the principles that are important to us. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for everything you did during this uh, difficult year uh, to provide opportunities for success for your students. Uh, I hope that you're going to have a chance uh, to get a little bit of a break and do some, get some rest and rejuvenation uh, this summer. Uh, but this is a time for us to kind of sit back and, and appreciate the fact that through our union, uh, as people who have dedicated our lives to the success of students, uh, we have strength together. Thank you for all you do. Uh, let's continue to fight and win for our members and students across Ohio.